everybody, and welcome back. We are three men in a let's play, and I'm Chris. I'm Mike. And I'm Pierce. And we are going to face off against one of our best friends. What the <laughs> fuck, Grandpa? Mind you guys, uh, Chris is the one controlling now. I was controlling before. Uh, usually, one of us just sticks to playing, but with Pokemon, we all kind of swap controllers. So, we have money now, I believe. Um... Yeah, we're gonna go buy- we have no potions. I think it's tough to have no money in this game. That's Pokemon Center. It is. It truly is. It's easy to confuse. Yeah, as long as they don't decide to read. Yeah, you know. It is. is. Big ol' Pokey and Mark outside of them. Hi there! How am I helping? I need some potions, please. Uh, <laughs> five potions is good? Yeah, five should be fine. Okay. Did we have any already? No. no. Ew. That's a resounding <laughs> uh, no. I have a couple of Pokeballs too, because we only have like three. You never know, Gary might not pay attention. Yeah. He might catch Pokemon. If That's only. not what I was prepared for, but okay. Alright, so we should be good on that. We got like five potions. We can go take on what the fuck, Grandpa. Sounds good. Right. So. Let's see. Dun, 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 dun. <coughs> okay, so I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little worried. Like, uh, let's do this. Freddy with an eye is uh, really going to be carrying our team here. I'm not worried. We're the good guys. Good guys always win. Yo, Jamada! Yo, still struggling along the back there. Think, didn't he have like a little bitch voice? Yeah. He I did. you and Grant, I caught a bunch! <laughs> yeah, that's strong right. and smart Pokemon! Here, let me see what you caught! Jamurder! I bet you're still a virgin. <laughs> I've gotten so much pussy! I, uh -huh. I've seen all three of a girl's holes. We've killed. Oh. Uh oh. Oh. Got so it. I do not use double kick. I know it's not very effective. Mega punch. Yeah. So, oh, this is not gonna be well. Oh, we might uh, we might persevere. A fifty fifty shot. Yeah, just just punch it down. Punch it out of the sky. Well, this might be our Nuzlocke finale. <laughs> Dude, Freda just grabbed Spear from the ground and just slammed it down. <laughs> we have no time for this. We punched a bird in the air. Uh, um, no. I think Freda can still be good on it. Double kick. Yep. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay. Drop kick that bitch. Or what? not. What? Alright. Oh, Sandshrew's normal. No, Sandshrew should be ground. What? Huh, it, maybe it's just normal ground. Maybe fighting isn't super effective against ground like I thought. Maybe I'm thinking of rock. Whatever, Mega Punch. Yep. It's Fred Eye's special ability. It's its known move. It's its finisher. Fred Eye's a beast. She don't give a fuck. Just wipe the floor. Okay, so you know how I was... Woo! Alright, maybe Fred Eye's legal. Maybe I'm not as worried so, as I thought. I think it's gonna be Pidgeotto. Oh, no, we're fine. This, now we can use Double Kick. Yes, we can. Oh, no. Not even gonna no. face me. Quick attack. No, I'm afraid I just got this. No one else is me. Just right off. Look at that. Next Ooh. is... Would next be his Pidgeotto? No, next will be Eevee. Which you can also use. Yes. That's right, he doesn't have Pidgeotto in this one. Not yet. Oh, yeah. Wow. Double kick it. We were worried and Fredo was just like... Well, usually in fights, I always remember it being like they play with their lowest level first. So I was like, oh crap, they started with one level higher than that's us. That's actually usually how it goes. Yeah, my tech I was better. better. You're good. Are we, you good. We were able to be cocky. There was not much what the fuck Grandpa could have done. Give us your money. Yeah. Hey, take it easy. You already won. Give us your money, g no, Go use my money. Go away. Hey, guess what? I went to Bill's. Got him to show me his... Oh, Rare Pokemon! Just, is, oh yeah, <laughs> was it his Diglett? <laughs> <laughs> no, this is Cloyster. Um, oh. He added some pages to my Pokedex, I think. I can't remember what I said. After all, Bill's world famous as a Pokemaniac. He invented the Pokemon storage system on PC and Mac. Since you're <laughs> using his system, go thank him. And well, I better get rolling. But if he asks you to play Hide the Caterpie, don't trust him. <laughs> Smell you later. Linux for life! <laughs> so if I'm not mistaken... Yep. I think you are mistaken. Alright, so wouldn't it be funny if you go back to Eo and you just bump into him in the Pokestop and he's just like, Oh god. I didn't actually think I'd see you this soon! Uh, <laughs> this is awkward! I know I said smell you later, but I didn't think it would be so soon. 
You you smell nice now. Is that is that Prowl? Do you use Prowl? <laughs> Prowl. <laughs> Something smells like Prowl. My sister uses Prowl. You it's, smell nice. It's not bad. You smell like clean. Alright, so... Smell like the inside of my mama's purse! <laughs> Alright, so now I think, now it's Nugget Blister. Bridge time. Uh, hold on, go ahead and switch out oh, yeah. anybody Wait. besides Freddy with a uh, I think now would be a good time to get some experience here for Brisbane. Yeah, we can get Brisbane a little experience before we have. Wait, it's oh, hold on a second. Subscribe. Bribbon, Bribbon, Space I Bribbon. I'm trying to think, Space I'm Bribbon. trying to think ahead for Misty. Who the fuck do we need to get ready to fucking tank out Misty? Uh, Freddy with an eye? Out of the question! Park ground! He will, or she will definitely die. Yeah. Well, Bribbon it, will die. Yeah, Bribbon will die. Uh, Gimpy might, if we can get, if we can level up a special attack, we could carry might be able to hold our own on it. But if we need, to, hopefully we can go up front and get an Oddish. Can't, yeah, we gotta hope for an Oddish, because Zoe can't handle it either. Zoe's uh, weak against psychic moves. And Misty has a Starmie. But who... Starmie doesn't know a psychic move in this game. In this one. She knows Bubble Beam, uh, Recover, Rapid Spin, and one other one. Are you sure? Yeah. I don't. Did you, did you like look it up recently or you something? You can, but if I recall properly, no. My, I don't have my phone on me. Mike! Uh, fuck. Use your space box. Well, why don't I use the big space box? Alright, so. Mike, I don't see. give a fuck what space box you use. This is Nugget Bridge! Beat the five of us trainers and win the fabulous prize! Come on down! Misty's starving. Yeah, Misty, Bulbapedia. That's right, Bulbapedia for all of your Pokemon needs. Whoa, that does not look like Misty. That's the upgraded version. That's her as an adult. That's like three years Heart later. Heart gold and soul silver. Yeah, you don't want that. We want red and blue or yellow. 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 <laughs> we want the yellow. It's right there. Yellow. Well, that's, that's just gonna take me to the yellow page. Fuck. Oh, okay. So there's his moves. Why did I bring Zoe out? Tackle, Harden, uh, Water Gun, trying. and Bubble Beam. Okay, so. I guess, uh, I guess Zoe will be a little bit better. What level is he? Uh, 13? Down. Stop. 21! Yeah, we got some training to do. That's not bad. We but there's a whole list of trainers up Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 we got time. This is cool. And we're on the bridge right now, so, and this Caterpie is just a beefy little Caterpie. I might need to go back and play some Pokemon. But he's Weedle, yeah. I'm uh, I'm currently trying to finish red and blue so I can get all 150 Pokemon so I can uh, get that little certificate. I went and bought a Game Boy printer off the internet just so I can print out the certificate for real. Uh, nice. Right. So, did you see how in the Pokemon uh, Direct that... I didn't watch it. I just... It's it's literally... They, re they released, uh, like, gold and silver... Are coming to the virtual console. Yeah, I saw that. I saw the Pokemon Fighter, and you get uh, De Desudai or whatever. I don't fucking care. No one like, does. Like literally, uh, Pokemon and then, just released and, and, nothing. And then to Sun me. and Moon has like the the second version of it. It's, I don't it's care. It's all the same. Sun and Moon was fine, but they're not changing anything in the story, and they're just changing the shape of a couple. It's nothing. It's nothing at all. It's not even like cool shit. Uh, I just I don't want to play it. I've already beaten Sun. I've already went and EV trained my Pokemon and shit. So I, should nobody I, I know should I just pop it with a potion or should I run down to the potion? Nah, fuck it. Hit with a potion. Let's go. All right. So it's, it's just like the original eight gym leaders from this game in every other Pokemon game for the most Basically, part. Basically, but they change up the the types. That's weird. So like, like in because in Fire Red Leaf Green, that's switch. a remake of Red and Blue. Oh, it is. Yeah. I had no clue. I that's the that. that's the remake for the Game Boy Advance. Yeah, dude, but there's dude. there's 151. Yeah, plus some new ones in there. I had, oh, well then that's not whatever. That's close enough. I mean, you don't I get care. them until after the game. Okay. The reason they brought it out was because uh, after Gen One and Two, when it became Gen Three, you couldn't transfer One and Two to Gen Three. There was no way to do it. Oh yeah. So they remade Gen One uh, during Gen Three yeah. and called it Flinch Fire Red Leaf Green. And in that one, you, you can get a good majority. I think you can get like 70 of the, the Gen 2 Pokemon. But okay. to get the rest of them, you need to play stuff like Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness for GameCube and shit like that. That game was always weird to me. Like, it's yeah. not a Pokemon game. But, but it, it was a Pokemon game. I know. 
It's like if we took, what was it like, if we took Pokemon Stadium and gave it, like, a, uh, an offset I, I couldn't fucking tell you, dude. I didn't play it. Mickey did. Mickey loved it. He, he said it was a really good game. My brother said it was a good game. Uh, I just never got around to playing it. Maybe uh, we'll, maybe we'll do that on the show one day. Maybe. I, is, is that the uh, one with the weird head haired dude? As the protagonist, was it GameCube? Yeah, I think so. It had like the spiky gray hair. Oh, I think we had that. We do have that somewhere. I just don't know where. And if not, we can get it. Uh, oh, if you guys want to see it. us play Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness for the GameCube, like, comment, and subscribe down below. In that oh, order. Oh, isn't this uh, look into the future? You mean look into the past? Or for them? For them, it's looking into the future. Well, they're going to die, so they won't have yeah. a future. Just smashed into the ground. Look at what you could have been, Nido Ran. If only you had Nido Ran away! Oh! Last is like, you dick! Alright. She gave me some money. So, next time on Three Men and a Let's Play, we'll see how much further we get in Nugget Bridge. At the end, we might even get a negative wisdom. At the end, we might even join Team Rocket. Rick Sanchez versus Saitama. What? What? What is it? Who versus Saitama? Rick Sanchez versus Saitama. Um, Rick of Rick and Morty. It depends if, Rick can, if <laughs> someone Rick... plays it out. Oh my god! Oh gee, Rick, I'm not sure about this! Morty plays to Rick as they fly over the city. Uh, listen, Morty, this dimension has heroes, Morty, and the heroes have a little club. They all just hang out and wear underwear on the outside of their pants, Morty. You, you, you realize what this means, Morty? Rick says, taking a swig from his flask. Uh, not really. Uh, good, because it, it's nothing. I, I don't care about these dorky do good. Oh my god. Yeah, you you're gonna wanna keep. Someone should keep grinding while you read it. <laughs> what is it? Dorky do gooders. Where the fuck is that? Uh, I'm here for the Sashawan Sauce Morty. They've got the Sauce Morty. Rick tells Morty, drinking from his. Uh -huh. ah, that's fucking me up more. Uh -huh. uh, taking a drink from his flask. Well, that's good and all, but you probably shouldn't be drinking so much. Morty responds with fear. I'm fine, uh, Morty. Uh, oh, oh, that came out late. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get in here and over to McDonald's. They call it McDonald's here, and the sauce will be met. Rick says before sudden impact, sending a ship crashing into a nearby building. You, you're flying well over the speed limit and have blood alcohol limit even higher than that. Desist your actions immediately, demands Genos. <laughs> oh my god! Standing in a nearly created hole in the wall. <laughs> oh, oh, gee! Oh, it hurts, Rick! Morty whines, his legs being crushed by some rubble. Oh, jeez, Morty, could you complain any more? Rick said, crawling through broken glass. I just need to send Robocop back to the future. See what I did, Morty? I threatened him by referencing two classic movies. Surrender. I'm giving you until the count of three. Jenna said. Could you be any more of a cliche? One. Two. Three! Uh, Rick said as a plasma grenade blasted Genos into the street. Oldest Rick in the book. Rick responded. Genos laying in the street, his arms and legs scattered by the force of the explosion. I'm sorry, Master. I let my guard down again. Genos said as Saitama appeared. He jumped up to Rick's ship. Did you do that to Genos? Saitama asked. Yeah, little Worminator wrecked my ship. You know how many trips to Flurbos that's going to cost me? Also, who are you? Rick said, standing, uh, assessing the damage to the ship as Morty groans in pain. I'm Saitama, just a guy who is a hero for fun and profit. Saitama said. Nothing like him. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, what's your hero name? Chrome Dome? Stopping crime with your male pattern baldness? Rick retorted. Well, it's officially Kip Baldy, but... Saitama said, being cut off by Rick, shooting him with a laser. But before Rick could retort, Saitama was behind him. I prefer One Punch Man. Saitama said, flicking Rick in the forehead and launching him outside. Ugh, looks like they took a little lesson from the naming book. Overly literal, Red, uh, Rick's head pulling out a box and pressing a button. <laughs> oh, Mr. Meeseeks! Hey, go kick that guy's ass while I try and realign my 12th, 13th, and 20th vertebrae, Rick said. Can do! 
me seeks response. We should be recording this. We are. We are. Oh my god, are we? Yeah. yeah. Mike. Don't ruin it. V seeks responded. <laughs> he can run. Uh, he ran towards Saitama and attempted to hit him in the face with a nearby pipe. Looks like you've got a can't. What? Can't do attitude. <laughs> okay. Saitama <laughs> said, slapping me seeks into orbit. Hold up a minute. Stop. Rick said as Saitama approached, and suddenly Saitama did stop, as did everything else. Haha! <laughs> Rick time! Rick had a frozen t had frozen time using his stopwatch and walked. <laughs> I get that. He walked up to Saitama and punched him in the face. A loud crunch informed Rick that he has broken his hand. Ah! They should have called you blockhead. Wait, got it. Rick said, pulling out his shrink ray. He zapped Saitama and shrunk him down. Now you're one inch man. Am I right, Morty? Morty was also frozen in time. Whatever. Puns are wasted on you anyway. Rick walked over to Saitama. You ever uh, seen Honey, I Shrunk the Kids? It's sort of like that, except I'm infinitely better, Rick. And what I'm about to do to you won't, wouldn't, wouldn't be covered with a uh, PG rating, you know? <laughs> Rick said, stomping out Saitama. Rick screamed in pain. Saitama's frozen head shot right through Rick's shoe and into his foot. You gotta be kidding me, Rick said, grabbing a nearby brick. It crumpled to pieces over Saitama's head. Uh, really? I Suddenly, beeping informed Rick that his stopwatch was out of power. An instant later, Rick's head exploded into red mist as Saitama punched <laughs> him. The body fell to the ground. Meanwhile, in another universe... Gee, Rick, did you see that? Morty said on the couch next to Rick at their home. Yeah, guess there's an alternate reality where nerds on the internet make death battles between characters. Rick responded. Oh, why, why would they do that? Morty asked. Power fantasy, sexual repression, reality avoidance. These nerds have a lot of time, Morty, Rick responded. So do you think they're right? Uh, would you lose? Morty asked. Are you joking, Morty? Of course I would. I'm a scientist, not some sort of overpowered Japanese cartoon character. I'm real, Morty, and you know what else is real? Sashawan sauce. Real tasty. And where am I going to find it? Even if it takes a hundred more seasons. I want that nugget sauce. No, no internet nerd's gonna stop me with this delusional fan story. Good job. <laughs>